and on all the marvels of modern invention, that with which I am most concerned is, of course, air transportation. Hi, I'm John Park for Adafruit Industries. This is The Haunted Radio. The Haunted Radio is a sort of mystery box, and it's a vintage tube radio that's been updated with some modern components so that it plays static when you turn it on, and then it plays back one particular MP3 file when the station has been dialed in to a preset number. Let's take a look inside, and I'll show you how it works. Here you can see I've got most of the original components still in place, but I've disconnected pretty much everything. I'm going to unscrew this from the bottom so we can slide it out and take a look at the parts. And once that's out, I'm going to actually need to pull off the knobs. Those are part of what keep things in place, and in this case they just slide off. Sometimes you'll find a little set screw that holds them in place. Now we can slide out most of the way. And you can see here, I've got a connection to the speaker that I'll try to leave in place actually as we have a look at the rest of what's going on here. Okay, with this turned around, you can see the on off switch and volume here and the tuning mechanism here. The tuning mechanism is pretty cool. It actually is a air capacitor, which is usually how these were tuned. And the wheel that dials in that capacitor value has a pulley wheel system to slide this indicator back and forth for the station selection. Now what we have here for the guts are a battery, a proto board for the feather to pop into and connect our wiring, the ESP8266 Huzzah Feather, and we have the MP3 Music Maker Feather Wing on top with an SD card that contains our files. I've got a USB cable connected here that's just used for either reprogramming or for charging the battery up. And I've actually wired in the on-off switch. If you look on the bottom here, I've got the on-off switch wired to the battery so that we can interrupt the power flow to this and turn it fully on and off. Now this MP3 Music Maker Featherwing has an amplifier on it, so I'm able to drive the original speaker directly. You may find sometimes that your old radios have one of these active drive speakers instead of a passive that uses a permanent magnet. Uh, these are no good. You're going to probably just want to replace this with a modern, inexpensive speaker if that's what you find inside your old radio. Here's a little demo I put together on a separate Adafruit Metro Express M0. And in this case, I have the Hall Effect sensor plugged into a digital input pin, ground, and power. And then I have a 10K resistor running between the power pin and the data pin. Now, with it turned on, you'll see I have a little NeoPixel lit up there. And when I hover the magnet in front of the Hall sensor, the color changes on the NeoPixel. So the way I'm using the Hall sensor inside of the radio project is I have the Feather Huzzah 8266 and it has the Hall sensor plugged into one of its digital input pins. And that Hall sensor is sitting in front of the station that I want the player to tune. The magnet is on the little indicator dial that moves back and forth as it's tuned. When it boots up, it just plays that first static sound and it loops that over and over again until the magnet is detected and then it triggers that second song. Now, you can do all kinds of interesting things in software once you've got your haunted radio built. You could set up multiple hall sensors so that you could tune in different stations. You could go ahead and use the Wi-Fi capabilities of the ESP8266 Huzzah Feather and maybe inject some different behaviors while the players aren't watching. If you'd like to build your own haunted radio, check out the learning guide linked in the description below. For Adafruit Industries, I'm John Park, and this is The Haunted Radio. Flying is perhaps the most dramatic of recent scientific attainments. Aviation, this young modern giant, exemplifies the possible relationship of women and the creation of science. Although women as yet have not taken full advantage of its use and benefits, air travel is as available to them as to men.